Today is Gerlock, I mean G-Lock, a uh, Glock time, and I'm here to tell you about the dual ammo threaded and tell you which of the myriad of these pistols I would buy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to AAR on Air. No, I haven't g developed a stammer or gone completely barking mad. I was just trying to satisfy the demands of the watching public. After being told by Angry of Mayfair or Wisconsin or wherever the trolls reside these days, you see, I have been told that the correct pronunciation of this pistol company is G dot 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 lock, as well as being told it's a girl lock. Now, I could go all Jonathan Pye on you and have a full-on rant about trolls. These minority of individuals have been exceptionally insulting about most things, including the length or colour of my hair, tonal inflections in my voice, and even my sexuality. Yes, I was called a polic. <laughs> I even had to look that one up, and Mrs. A.A.R. thought that was hilarious. Me? Well, you see, I do this because I enjoy it and I'm constantly learning, not only about the guns, but the great side of humanity and, sadly, the lowest of low life, who can't even spell their insults correctly. And, strangely enough, they think they're achieving something. In their little world, maybe. But, you see, I don't care about these individuals or their poorly grammatically misspelled illegible drivel. And they don't seem to realise there are filters on the comments to prevent their garbage getting through. But I see them, and I get to have a real laugh at their expense. This is a channel that the younger generation and the ladies watch and enjoy. So I make a point of not allowing bad language through. Now, before I have a tomato or tomato sandwich out on the grass or grass, let's get on with more important things. The review of the new Glock 17 Dual Ammo Threaded. You know, I really have come to like these Glocks over the past couple of months. It could be argued there are too many of them, and I would probably be at the front of that particular queue of individuals. But you would also find me at the front of the queue standing up for the manufacturers, determined to give us more choice. So, what is so different about this Glock 17 then? Well, it is quite simply the Glock Dual Ammo, which I have reviewed before, but with a left-handed thread on the front to accommodate a silencer or moderator or suppressor no, I'm not going down that route again. Because we all know what I mean when I say a silencer. Before we check that out, though, let's have a quick walk around and a refresh of this version. Metal top slide with nicely subtle Glock markings on both sides. The familiar square-shaped ejector port. And again, those subtle markings with no big, bold, white writing overdone on the sides of this gun, which is a big plus in my books. The bottom half is polymer or plastic, but a high-quality durable material forming a one-piece moulding incorporating the trigger guard, bottom, grip and under rail. Which, as we have said before, if used, nullifies the rather good safety underneath, leaving you to rely on the trigger safety. The sights are open front and rear and fixed and non-adjustable. They do have nice white markings to aid sighting. The top slide on this one is not too bad. A slight rattle, but some of the lower price versions do suffer from a seriously rattling slide, which can be a little annoying. The dropout magazine reveals the four eight round rotary magazines, three for pellets, one for BB. The CO2 is simplicity itself to fit, 
using the supplied tool. Now this whole magazine is not a new idea, it has been used by Umrex before, but I found it to be very reliable. The overall feel of the gun is terrific, and I think Umrex have done a great job overall. The blowback is positive, sadly no lock open after last shot, but that is available on other versions of the 17. More of that later. The trigger is a little heavy, but this is because it's doing the indexing of the ammo as well. First stage comes in at a little over four pounds pull weight, and the final stage is gonna be approximately nine pounds, which is not for the slight of the phalanged strength individuals. I say approximately nine pounds because my gauge only goes up to eight pounds and it required a little more grunt after that. You also get the Glock pistol case thrown in for your £159 UK price tag. Okay, what about that silencer then? Well, first of all, it must be pointed out that it doesn't come supplied with one. It is left-handed thread and will not accept the vast array of silencers you may have lying around for most of your rifles. It does require the 14mm Airsoft Type 1 and I have one here from Nuprol Viper Bocker. What a mouthful. This is the one that Umrex have suggested. This particular silencer has a left and right handed thread. So it does get a bit confusing sometimes when you're trying to fit it to this gun. There we go. Now it's not an expensive item at £15 UK, but is it any good and does it make an audible difference or does it simply look cool? Well, let's have a listen. You know, it's one of the hardest things to show on film because the microphone and preamp combination that I use adjusts for sound levels anyway. But I can tell you from a human ear point of view, there is a tonal change using the silencer. But as for volume, pretty much no difference, 105 decibels each. Hmm. So I'm not impressed so far. In fact, I was so unimpressed, I started to look into this. Further. The 14mm threaded end is designed primarily for airsoft silencers, as we've said, which are mostly mock silencers, so they're simply for show and really serve no sound deadening purpose. Looking through the silencer and at the diameter of the internals shows that it is definitely made for the bigger 6mm airsoft but more than that actually putting a gauge across it the whole diameter of the internals matches the 14 millimeter thread of the silencer itself no surprise it doesn't quite anything down then now it does unscrew and it would be easy for it to accommodate a large washer with a smaller diameter hole in pursuit of making this usable item but I'm not here to complete fabrications of silencer construction videos, just to report on the products that are available. So in answer to the first question, does it work? No. Does it look the part? Yes, I think it does. The only thing to bear in mind, as with most of these silencers, it does block the sights and renders them pretty useless. So, is the Glock 17 dual ammo threaded any good? Well, as a Glock 17 dual ammo, yes. But personally, I prefer the square look of the standard Glock rather than seeing the thread protruding from the end. Personal choice, though. Which brings me on to the second part of this review. 
which is the best Glock pistol replica? Well, I've pretty much reviewed all of them by now, including the 19, 22, a whole host of 17s, budget-minded ones to the more expensive, pellet, BB, slide action to fixed. So here goes, my top three Glocks. Firstly, with mainly budget in mind, the Glock 22. This is really for the person who wants a pistol that simply looks like a Glock and they're on a budget. It's £99 UK, BB dropout stick, which is ultra simple to load, and a simple slot in and twist CO2 loading system. The full review for that is here. But is it the best Glock? Well, no, it's not. But for that, you need to start and push the budget up a little more. Then you find the Glock 17 dual ammo, which gives you a blowback action for realism, a choice of ammo, BBs or pellets, within the same gun. Priced at about £150 UK, you get a good weighty feel and a well-built item. As we've said before, it is a little stiff on the trigger and it doesn't have a lock open after last shot. But of course you can use those all important pellets and reduce ricocheting. You could go for this, the threaded version, which we've just seen, but that's going to cost you about an extra £10 if you want that particular look. Otherwise, save the £10, buy the standard dual ammo version. But if you want your Glock to feel the right weight, metal underside safety, high quality build, lock open after last shot, and a super realistic dropout magazine, which has an easy load system, and that's if you don't mind BBs and you're happy to use copper or lead BBs to avoid ricocheting, then you're going to need to stretch out to £169 UK and buy yourself the 17 Gen 4. Which is absolutely fantastic in my books. You won't get a fancy Glock original case, you'll just get a simple cardboard box. But what you will get in my opinion is probably the best of the Glock pistols so far. The feel of the slide, the sound from the slide action is amazing. Get some spare magazines and have them in a holster to look the part and you won't need another Glock. Don't forget the full reviews for all of these Glocks are on the channel. Me, I'm off to have another go with this superb Glock 17 Gen 4. Thanks for watching.